Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? This is Watch, and in this video we'll be doing a direct head-to-head -head specification comparison between the HTC One M9. This is the latest generation of uh, HTC's uh, brand new flagship phone, and hopefully it'll carry on all of the good stuff that we liked about last year's M8, versus one of the most popular smartphones you can get out there, the iPhone 6. Now this video is specifically targeted for those of you guys that want to perhaps upgrade to a newer smartphone and you're looking at what the HTC One M9 has to offer versus the Apple iPhone 6. So if you're interested in that, let's get right into the specification differences. Now the first thing that we're going to talk about is the overall physical differences between these two and one thing is sure is that the iPhone 6 is certainly going to be the more compact overall phone. It's going to have a less overall footprint because it has the slightly smaller screen size but the HTC One M9 won't be as large as some of those crazy phablet phones measuring around 144.6 millimeters in terms of its height and about 69.7 millimeters in terms of its width and in terms of overall thickness you're going to look at around 9.6 millimeters on the M9 versus about 6.9 millimeters on the iPhone 6. Now one of the awesome things about HTC is when they build their flagship phones, they're made out of really high quality materials, mostly metal alloys, and the M9 will certainly be no exception, and it'll really hold its own in terms of build quality compared to the iPhone 6. Now the one thing that's interesting on both these two smartphones is that both phones will have their radio antennas exposed on the back of the device. So both of them are visible when you're taking a look at the back, and some people don't like that overall look, but for me personally, I don't think it matters too much. Now moving on to one of the most important factors on any smartphone is the display and at center stage the HTC One M9 is going to have a 5 inch LCD display with an LED backlight much of the same technology we find on the iPhone 6 but we have a smaller overall screen size about 4.7 inches on the iPhone 6 and in terms of resolution we're looking at a full HD screen 1920 by 1080 on the HTC One very similar to last year's phone and we have a native resolution of 1334 by 750 on the iPhone 6 which has a PPI count about 326 versus the 441 PPI on the HTC One M9. Now one thing I'm going to be interested in seeing is when I get the M9 in real life and see how it does in terms of uh, viewing in outdoor brightly lit sunlit conditions. The iPhone 6 really excels at that because it has a polarizing layer on top of the glass so it's going to be really interesting to see the usability factors of the display on the M9 when you're using it outside. Now one of the other themes of the HTC One series of phones is they have great external speakers that are usually front facing and the M9 is again no exception. It's going to have Dolby Digital certified speakers so we should have a much better listening experience when it comes to music and watching movies it's just straight out of those internal speakers. Even though the iPhone 6 has uh, speakers that are certainly passable for a smartphone, I don't think it's going to be a comparison when it comes to overall sound quality. Now moving on, let's talk about the internal specification differences between these two. Now one of the real interesting things about the M9 is it's going to be one of the first generation smartphones to utilize a Qualcomm's brand new chip, the Snapdragon 810, which is an 8-core processor comprised of two quad-core CPU. One is the Cortex-A53, the other one is the Cortex-A57. One is clocked at about 2 gigahertz, the other one is clocked at about 1.5 gigahertz. We're also going to have the faster GPU, the Adreno 4. 30 which should deliver better gaming performance and uh, do better in terms of GPU accelerated applications. We're going to have three gigabytes of RAM which is three times better than the iPhone 6 and even though the iPhone 6 has the Apple A8 processor which is dual core chip clocked about 1.4 gigahertz it's certainly going to give that chip a good run for its money and in most scenarios in terms of multi-threaded applications since we have so many cores to deal with on the HTC One M M9, it's going to be faster, but in a lot of cases, that A8 is a beast when it comes to single core threaded applications. Now, there are some early leaks on the benchmark results on the HTC One M9. On Geekbench 3, it's getting over 1,200 points on the single core score and about 3587 on the multi core score. We're going to have to see how it does in real life when we have the phone physically in our hands, but so far, it looks like the A10 is going to be an absolute monster when it comes to multi threaded applications. Applications. And in terms of single core stuff, it's certainly an improvement from the previous generation 805 and 801 chips, but I think the A8 will still kind of be a little bit faster on single core threaded applications uh, because it's so optimized for that kind of processing. 
Now moving forward, we're going to talk about the cameras on these two devices. Now taking a look at the front facing camera, what the HTC has done is they've uh, used uh, some of their ultra pixel technology from previous generation one phones and uh, put it on the front facing camera. So we have a four megapixel camera that is uh, 1920 by 1080 video, which is fantastic. And uh, that's going to give you a lot better selfie qualities compared to the 1.2 megapixel sensor we have on the iPhone 6. And when we take a look at the rear facing cameras, this is probably one of the biggest differences from the M8 to the M9. HTC has gone and embraced the Sony philosophy of putting as many pixels on the back of their cameras as possible. We have 20.7 megapixels versus about 8 megapixels on the iPhone 6. So we have more than double the pixels on the HTC One M9. And it's going to be interesting to see the low light quality differences between these two phones. Even though one of the biggest claim to fame things about uh, the previous generation HTC One phones was the ultra pixel tech technology which gave you very very few megapixel count in the hopes of getting better low light performance in real life it didn't really deliver that uh, tremendous low light performance that they were promising you typically got a noisier image than you would like and uh, the iPhone 6 I think is a good balance between a pretty sharp image that does uh, well in almost any lighting conditions It's nowhere near as a professional low light camera but uh, certainly passable and uh, definitely going to be interesting to see what the image quality differences between these two cameras are. Now in terms of video we have 4K uh, at 30 frames per second on the HTC One. We also have a 60 frames per second at 1080p and 120 frames per second at 720p. Now even though the iPhone 6 does not have any 4K video capturing capabilities I think uh, it has something even better which is 240 frames per second at 720p and that is really something impressive that no other smartphone has yet to tackle. And I think the 1080 1080p video the iPhone 6 produces is fairly usable for most people out there. It's going to be really interesting to see how these two cameras are going to compare in real life once we have them. Now the last thing that we're going to talk about is the overall battery performance on these two smartphones. Now since we don't have the HTC One M9 in real life to test out, we're going to see how it does in terms of uh, real world performance differences. But in terms of overall capacity, the battery is rated for 2900 milliamp hours, which is around a thousand more milliamp hours uh, more than the iPhone 6, which has 1810 milliamp hour battery. And uh, overall the iPhone 6 isn't the most uh, resolved full smartphone out there when it comes to battery life you're looking around something around 14 hours of 3g talk time versus the, the older generation HTC one had uh, something around 2600 milliamp hour battery and that got easily a day and a half of regular kind of usage I'm thinking in the new one if I had to make a guess you're probably gonna average around a day and a half to two days uh, certainly it has that larger overall battery size and the HTC sense UI 7 will probably have some new power power saving mode. Definitely going to be interesting to see what the overall battery performance is. One thing is for sure is that both phones have non-removable batteries so that's one thing that's a disadvantage from uh, some of the other smartphones that allow you to pop in extra batteries as you go along. But on that guys, that's really it. Now keep in mind that this was just a very surface level specification comparison between the iPhone 6 and the HTC One M9. When the HTC One M9 comes out, we'll definitely have it for a full on hands on comparison when it becomes available to us. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to our channel for that. Make sure to leave all your questions and comments in the description below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.